time again for Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. Our guests today are currently sharing bed, board, and banter on stage as stars of the Grand Dinner Theater's production of The Owl and the Pussycat. She's sexy and spicy, he's Old Spice. Welcome June Wilkinson and Patrick Wayne. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Low. Sexy and spice, my God. I like that. Patrick, uh, no, Patrick <laughs> would you believe, is she really se sexy and spice on oh, stage? Check it out. I mean, look at it, I, I'm, I'm checking it out. June Wilkinson, play bit. Playboy, more covers. I mean, you've been in more magazines, and how many times you've been in Playboy? Oh, about seven or eight. My God, from London. Um, well, no, the first time I was in Chicago, I was visiting from London, and everybody was talking about Playboy magazine. Uh -huh. And I was seventeen and cocky, and I looked at the magazine. And I said, "Oh, my body's so good." <laughs> you know how you're always conceited when you're young. And I called up Hugh Hefner at midnight. I actually didn't expect to get him. I went to right. the hotel and I called up, and he was uh. in the office by himself. And he answered the phone, and I said, I want to be in your magazine. He said, OK. Uh. Shot pictures that night. Really? I know. Patrick, I've seen her in many, many covers in many magazines. But you, oh, Spice Boy, my god, the Sailor Boy. Haven't been in Playboy. No, but you've been a sailor boy. Commercials. I'm to get you in Playgirl if you're talking about it. Patrick, they did approach me to do Playgirl. Did long they really? Ago. I don't have that much confidence. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, you said it was no out. big thing and you didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> commercials. Uh, a lot of commercials. Are you certainly have. How many are there? How many did you Probably do? 70. Really? 70 different products. 70. Yeah. But the one I really like is Old Spice. Old That's Spice was a good one. Was a good one for me. Yeah, Alpo dog food. I was a spokesman yep. for Dry Idea and Aspen soft drinks. Uh huh. I have a commercial running now in Mexico for um, the spokesman for um, uh -huh. Bacardi rum. Difficult, being John Wayne's son. Difficult? Yeah, I want to know. But, well, I, I mean, have nothing to up. compare it to. You know, it's the only it's life I've lived. That's I would right. say, I think probably everybody has a tough time in life and they have a good time in life. And uh, right. the good times in my life have definitely outweighed anything that's been tough. Uh -huh. You've just been a lucky boy. You, I would think so, yeah, yeah. I've had a very privileged life. Acting? Very appreciative. Ever since you always wanted to be an actor? Well, I've always acted. Uh -huh. I wasn't quite sure that I always wanted to do it, uh, but I started when I was about nine years old what? working in films with my dad and my godfather. Um, uh -huh. Your and godfather? Then your godfather? John is Ford, John the director. John Ford, that's right. Did a lot of films with him, uh, The Long Gray Line, Mr. Roberts, to name a couple. The Long Gray Line. It was a story about West Point. Went that to was West an old Point. Tyrone Power movie. Tyrone Power? I just interviewed his wife last week uh -huh. and his lovely daughter, Tyron yeah. Power. Did a picture with Tyron Power. And you worked with her? With Sinbad, yeah. She worked in Sinbad and uh -huh. the Eye of the Tiger with me. Uh -huh. uh, when I got to college, I, I realized that I was going to have to make some decision about what I was going to do with the rest of my life. Uh -huh. And um, I'd always enjoyed acting, but I didn't know whether it was just because I was with my father and it was always a special time or whether I enjoyed acting. So I, I studied uh, biology and sort of got away from acting for a while. And then um, at, at the end of my uh, college uh, term, I decided that acting is what I really wanted to do. So, uh -huh. so I went to start to look for work and uh, never got any work. <laughs> it was easier before I decided uh -huh. to be an actor to get a job. Uh -huh. But um, I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy acting. June, London, is that where you're from? The Windmill Girl? Oh, Tell well, me about that. Well, um, the Windmill Theatre, for uh, right. those of you out there that are not familiar with it, it was the only theatre in London that didn't close during the war. And I think Hollywood made a movie about it. And I, um, I started out wanting to be a dancer, and I was a little kid uh -huh. uh, going to dancing school every day. And um, a producer came, wanted a kid, and I was it. Uh -huh. And then I was the lead dancer at the Windmill, but from the Windmill, I started finding you could make much more money saying lines than dancing. So uh -huh. I, changed my attitude. Film in London before you came here? I had a series on the BBC for a while. You did? I didn't yeah. know that. What was it called? It was, uh, it was called um, Pleasure Boat. Ah. Was so long ago, with uh -huh. Tommy Steele's wife. She and I used to have an apartment in, on Great Newport Street in Trafalgar uh -huh. Square. Those were good 60s. days. I hey, the 60s. That was London, Europe, 60s. Oh, I loved it. I was there in the 60s. I was oh, working but I was, and I came you over to uh, America. To America? Yeah. You were here in the 60s? Yes. Did pajama, a top pajama? And pajama tops on Broadway pajama top, in 62. Yeah. 
at the really? Winter Gardens, yeah. So when did you first, did you arrive, 62? Well, I arrived in 58, appeared in oh. Playboy magazine, and then uh, went back home to fulfill a contract. And then um, I had, in the short time, I was in America for two weeks. I uh -huh. thought, oh, this is a great country. <laughs> I went to do the Today Show. I went to Ole Cassini's to get a dress to wear on the Today Show. Uh -huh. Ole comes running out. He wants to dress me because uh -huh. the sack dress was in. He had a whole new line. He said, I'll give you four originals if you go to a party in my dress tonight with me. I said, uh -huh. okay. Went to a party in his dress. Uh -huh. Met Ray Stark and Elliot Hyman. They said, what are you doing? I said, I'm an actress. I said, we got a contract for you. Be there tomorrow. I went to Chicago, got in play. I said, this is easy. <laughs> I couldn't believe how easy it was in America. <laughs> Having fun doing Owl and the Pussycat, you too. Oh, I yes. mean, I understand the rave reviews and packed houses every night out there. The Tell me about nice. the show, Patrick. The story? I mean, the st well, just are you having fun doing it? Or? Oh, yeah, it's, it's terrific. It's We've been doing a f fairly decent business. It's been up and down. Uh, it's a rough time of the year. This last week with the Labor Day weekend was a little rough, but uh, we've, we've been having some good audiences. And uh, the this, this show is about 25 years old. Yes. And um, it's, it's fairly dated material, I thought, but the, but the audiences seem to like it very much. You know, they seem to enjoy it. You like to do comedy. I think you have a marvelous like comedy, flair yeah. for comedy. You know why? Mm -hmm. I saw you in a show back, uh, you were in France somewhere, emceeing a show, hosting a show. I thought you were wonderful. Oh, thank Did you. Did you see that show he hosted, the uh, Monte circus? Carlo. Monte the Carlo Monte show. Carlo. It was a variety thing. series, yeah. It was a variety, what happened to that show? Uh, it, it was on for a year and uh, they, they sold it through syndication uh -huh. and it was a very expensive show. Very. And uh, well mounted, well done show. Uh, didn't really get the, quite the popularity that, that would have required it to uh, be another show. It was like, it was like the year. rich and famous type of thing. With, really, was, am I right, Patrick? Yeah, it was, a, it was a quality show. It was a lot of fun. You know, we shot them in uh -huh. uh, Monte yeah, Carlo. Those beautiful girls. Oh, show. Terrible location. Oh, God. Surrounded by beautiful women. Was, women all the time. How does it feel, Patrick Wayne, being surrounded by Are you married, Patrick? I'm not married. No. You're not married. I've been married. I was okay. married for uh, a while. I've got three children. Three? Uh-huh. Are two they? Two kids in college. and uh, Two kids in college. And uh, a 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Anyone aiming for the business? They think of Not the older kids. One of them is a medieval history major, and the other is an astronomy major. Uh -huh. It's pretty diverse. Why does everyone want to be an life? actor, rock stars? Why don't want they be uh, an architect? Well, These because the, the, you always see the glamour only, of those yeah. businesses. Sure. Is that what it is? I mean, sure. it's a phase that a lot of kids probably pass through. I don't think my older kids ever pass through it, but... but um, I don't know. I, I see a lot of kids doing other stuff there. You know, it's just it's a, it's a visible thing. I guess uh -huh. the visible medium. Or Plus, they make a lot of money. But it's more than just. I I think they should just. An architect is so important. A good writer. Uh, trash be a, or be a good human being. We tried not having even, a trash even collector. They make a lot of money. Good too. human being. They don't. Just being a good human being. Everyone wants to bet money. Money is so, why? Just forget about money. It's just well, it depends on where you come from. You know, if you have an True. impoverished background and uh, you see how the other half lives and you think that that's a better way of life, it, as it turns out, it really isn't necessarily a better way of life, but you don't know that until you r arrive yes. at it. You've just grown up here in Hollywood, Patrick. I mean, you've seen Hollywood all sorts, parties. You've go, do you go to a lot of parties? No. You're no, but I have seen Hollywood, at, at least from the industry side of it, change. It's gone through major metamorphosis. You know, I was still, when I was young, it was still a, the monolithic uh, sort of studio system that existed that doesn't yeah. exist nowadays. So it's gone through a major change. But I've never really been too involved. With, my father wasn't really that involved in the, in the um, social side of it. He wasn't. He never no. go to parties or any of that. He had friends in the business, but he wasn't in that Hollywood circle. Of, I see. Of, June Wilkinson, when you arrived, films, did you do any films here? I did a, a movie with um, uh, Jeff Chandler, mm -hmm. and then uh, I went to Brazil and did a movie there, and then I worked with Spike Jones, and I, uh -huh. I did a whole lot of... But you do a lot of theater, dinner Well, theater. the reason I started doing a lot of theater is because I started from Playboy magazine, uh -huh. came all the exploitation type movie offers. Yes. And uh, I, st I did a few of them, like Twist All Night with Louis Prima and some, yes. some garbage like that. And, and I said, I'm gonna stop this before I nail uh -huh. the coffin and uh -huh. lid down. And I, um, I started doing plays and I got better offers for quality things on, on uh, stage. So uh -huh. that's what happened. Now I'm, now I'm wanting to do film and television. Now, now I'm, I don't wanna say I'm, I, it sounds uh -huh. bad to say I'm bored with stage. I don't mean I'm having a real good time doing Alan the Pussycat. 
but I, I don't want to be on the road 12 months out of the year yes. doing shows as yes. I have been for the past 10 years. Uh -huh. You enjoy doing the theater, uh, Patrick? I do, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I enjoy doing all the work, I, but the theater is different, uh, is incredibly different from working in films Film. and yes. television. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I enjoy that experience. Uh -huh. You studied acting? Studied, yes, from time to time. Would you advise young people out there when they come to Hollywood to study or before they come here to study or just to have that certain or just the be business, natural? Your dad uh, was natural. He never studied, did he? John well, Wayne, did you he? Have to, you have to understand something that uh, uh, my father got into an industry when you could work 52 weeks out of the year and yes. his studying was in front of the camera. That, that, that was, was a work. form of, of learning yes. process for him. He, he, he developed his technique and his craft by working yes. and uh, we don't have that uh, luxury anymore in the business. Maybe in television and soap operas I, I, or if you get a job like that, that's good training, you know, that, that sort of takes it. But you just don't get that kind of work, the quantity of work that they used to work. So, yeah, you have to study, you have to keep your craft alive, you keep the cobwebs out. And it's, it's very important. It's important, especially for someone coming. Uh -huh. The more prepared you are when you come to this town to show your wares, the better off you are. Because you never know when you're going to get that opportunity, when the door is going to open. You should be ready. If you exactly. walk in there, you get exactly. your shot, and you can't come up to it, you're not going to maybe get another shot. So. Patrick Green, from the theater. Owl and the Pussycat. What's happening after that with Mr. Patrick Wayne? Well, I'm working on a project, uh, a special for syndicated television that I'm going to co-produce and host called The uh, Heroes of the Great Westerns, mm -hmm. those of them that are still left. And we're doing some film clips and inter Sounds interviews. Sounds very, with very good. I like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who else would be better than you to do it? I think well. you're a great host. I really do. I, 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 I have a love for the Western films, and I, I think it's an opportunity to, uh, to rekindle an old interest in, in films that hasn't been there for a while and maybe show some young people, some people and some film clips of films that they hadn't had, had a chance to see yet. John Wayne, how many children? Seven, that Seven. he'll admit to. Seven. He admit <laughs> really? From two marriages, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Why always lovely ladies, his wives, were? His first wife was? Josephine, my mother. Yes. Uh -huh. And then he was Maritza married. was? Maritza? No, he was married to a woman named, Mex uh, Mexican woman. Mexican uh, she had her nickname was Chata. Her real name was Esperanza. And his uh, last wife was named Pilar. All, all Latin women. All he was Latin married women. All Latin Why? Women. He, he loved Latin women, did he? Uh, he guess he what wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, but he never did. Never, uh, never did. Did he play. like Mexico? Love Mexico. Did he? Yeah, I do too. It's did a beautiful you? country. What makes John Wayne? <laughs> Like Mexico, do you have any idea? What made him like it? Well, he liked, first of all, it's a beautiful country that is, when you get outside of Mexico City, which is a fabulous city like European cities. Sure. It's a beautiful country that hasn't been tainted by mankind. You know, there's yeah. beautiful places to hunt and fish. And the people there are wonderful people. He loved the people. Simplicity, he likes that simple life. I like that too. Do you fish? I do. Ride? Ride. Horse. I do, sure. You yeah. do? Yeah. Mostly <laughs> for work. You know, we uh -huh. used to work in a lot of Western films. Uh -huh. so. How about you, my darling, June Wilkinson? Does she ride a horse? I've been on a horse. You I don't know if uh, I consider myself a great rider. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. You still have your English accent. All the years you've um, been in this country. I don't know. Now, I, did, I did a movie with Donald Pleasance, and he said there's not a trace of it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it depends from what side of the ocean you come on. To you <laughs> people, I still have a slight trace. A slight. It's there. It's <laughs> definitely. It's even on stage, is it there, uh, Patrick? You know, I don't notice it. I, I did notice it the first time we met, which was before we started rehearsal. Uh -huh. But I don't th I don't hear it when we're doing the play now. There's a couple uh -huh. of words that couple I used to uh, have really strong, and I try to cut them down because I don't think Even having a real Even in this interview, strong. I don't know if you noticed it, but she said when you sh you said you wanted to be a dancer. Uh, dancer. And yeah. then you said, it, or maybe you, maybe that's correct. And then you say, but I found out the dancers. And then yeah. you yeah, said dancers. Yeah, you go dance, dancer, I dancer. go back and forth because yeah. it both sounds correct to me. Yeah. I yeah. see. I see. Difficult makes me sound like a phony, right? Oh, listen to that phony English accent. June Wilkinson, is it difficult to be glorious and beautiful Absolutely. as you are? It's I mean, real difficult, I mean, especially you're when you wake up looking like I look in the morning. <laughs> I mean, when you walk to the market, I mean, I mean, June Wilkinson, you, do you walk that way to the market? Or, is it, or you have your hair and makeup and all that? No. Sometimes. Sometimes I look awful. Sometimes I look great. You do. Yeah. So. And sometimes it's in between. What's exciting and uh, new coming up for uh, Miss June Wilkinson after well, the... Well, no boyfriends, that's for sure. <laughs> you have what?